Item number SCP-3106, Object Class Euclid, Security Level 2. Special Containment Procedures Foundation Web Crawler Galileo AIC is to continuously monitor law enforcement agencies within the migratory path of the Canada Goose for increased reports of petty theft and other SCP-5106 related activities. Galileo is also tasked with monitoring social media and video sharing platforms for any mention of SCP-5106 or its associated activity. All evidence is to be discredited or removed and all direct witnesses are to be amnesticized. If SCP-5106 is located, a joint task force comprised of MTF Eta 4 Begone Thoth and MTF Victor 17 Nature Boys members are to track and attempt to contain the anomaly. Description SCP 5106 is an avian entity resembling a Canada goose, capable of communicating in fluent English. SCP 5106 has heightened intelligence, though the extent of its cognitive capabilities is unknown. SCP-5106 displays a rudimentary understanding of subterfuge, slang terminology, interpersonal relations, and a barter system. SCP-5106 is capable of commanding non-anonymous fauna to follow basic commands. It is unknown whether SCP-5106 uses some form of anomalous influence or if fauna follow the orders of their own volition. Though the full extent of this ability is unknown, SCP-5106 seems incapable of using it to affect humans and other species of higher intellect. Discovery SCP-5106 is initially discovered by civilians within Caddis Island State Park in Toms River, New Jersey. Following a drastic increase in theft-related incident reports, patrons of the park began Began reporting strange behavior in the local avian population. On the year 2020, August 13th, a video depicting SCP-5106 related activity was uploaded to the media sharing platform YouTube. The following is a transcript of the aforementioned video evidence, which was flagged and transcribed by Galileo. Video log 5106 1. Date 2020, August 13th. Depicted Carlos Vega, male 18, and Randall White, male 19. Begin log. Carlos Vega is walking in front of the camera through a dimly lit playground. Man, when you said we were going to see the birds, this wasn't what I thought you meant. Nah, dude, I told you. The bird sold me this camera. Thank you, me, though. I was eating lunch with the now over there. Randall points around the camera towards a prevalent in the distance, and a freaking goose come up offering us an iPhone. And I didn't... How's a goose offering you crap, bro? You tripping? Yeah, I bet. You'll see when we get here. Yeah, I'll see your dumbest frick. Over here, this way. The two men walk through tall underbrush and several trees until they reach a small clearing. Hey man, it's uh, it's me again. I brought my boy to come see ya. Chuck him. Several dozen squirrels emerge from the tree line and encircle Carlos and Rando. The freak, man. What the the? Back the frig up. It's cool. They're just checking us out. The squirrels can be seen running over to two men and checking their pockets, waistbands, and ankles. After removing a pocket knife from Carlos's left sock, the squirrels retreat back into the trees. Oh, some real crap. Did I just cut rob a bunch of squirrels? I don't... Don't worry, they'll give it back when we're done with our transaction. SCP-5106 is seen entering the clearing encircled by eight Canadian geese. How can we help you, boys? Several of the geese honk at the two men's direction. Carlos is physically confused. I, uh, I. Yeah, we wanted to do some business with you, ma- You got a name, bro? Yeah, I got one. But you can call me Don, kid. My man, what was in the front before? This geese just- Is this for real? Oh, we got wise guy, eh? 
Your boys eyeing me hard. He better quit gawking before my boys get squawking. Several of the geese flapped their wings and honked in response. Nah, man, me cool, right, see? And on not just calls. Uh, yeah, we good. SCP-5106 and its accompanying geese walked several meters closer to the two men. We've been here too long. What do you want? My boy needs a new phone. SCP-5106 extends its neck towards Carlos and inspects him. Android or iPhone? Uh, Android? SCP-5106 turned its head towards Rando. You got the bread? Rando holds a stuffed manila envelope towards SCP-5106. Buy fake ones, just like you said. 500? Bro, that's a lot of dough. Oh. Don't worry, man. Ma gave it to me. Laps, go get it. One of the geese flies into the tree line. It returns approximately one minute later, carrying a plastic shopping bag in its beak. Gog CS20. The goose drops the plastic bag at Carlos's feet before ordering back to SCP-5106. Yeah, okay. <coughs> I mean, good looks, man. Thanks. Yeah, just pay up and scram. We wasted enough time on you already. Rando opens the envelope, revealing five slices of marble rye bread. He gently removes them from the envelope. Rando rips the bread into small chunks and spreads them on the ground. SCP-5106 and other geese honk and flap their wings in unison. They swarm and consume the bread pieces. After finishing the bread, SCP-5106 and its geese fly away. That... that was some... I don't even... Who the frig's gonna believe this crap? Rando shakes the camera towards Carlos. Everyone, man, I got that crab on here. The two men walk out of the clearing and back through the underbrush. Yeah, but even on film, I didn't know if I believed that crab. And I was there, man. Yeah, we'll see. And long. Following a brief investigation to confirm anomalous activity, the Foundation deployed a two-man detachment of MTF Victor 17 and a five-member avian pursuit team of support. The following is a transcript of their encounter. Video Log 51062 Date 2020 August 18th Depicted Agent Lazo Finch Agent Dylan Crane and Site 51 Avian Unit 3 Forward The agents set a live animal trap baked with rye bread within the clearing SCP-5106 was previously encountered in. French and Crane are to remain hidden in the tree line for SCP-5106 to appear, at which it will be tranquilized. Avian Unit 3 will remain on standby within the treetop and will pursue SCP-5106 if it attempts to escape. Begin log. Agents French and Crane are crouched in the underbrush facing towards SCP-5106's clearing. How long is this gonna take? Do you think they're onto us, Crane? No, I don't think so. The bird unit hasn't noted any movement. Maybe they're off trying to sell people stolen junk. <laughs> oh, what a freaking job. I'm gonna say that again. Crap, this is probably one of the least weird cases we had in months. Yeah, I know. Shh, look over there. Finch points towards the western end of the clearing. Movement can be seen in the underbush. A total of 14 geese exit the tree line and enter the clearing. That trap isn't holding all of them. How many trank rounds do we have? Five. Crap. Run back to the truck, grab another case of rounds, and be quick about it. We don't want them getting spooked. You got it. Finch crawls through the bush for several meters before standing and running towards the truck. Just cause he's... Oh, this crap, I gotta do the grunt work. Agent Finch stops several meters from the truck. The back doors are open. A large quantity of geese footprints can be seen on the ground. Finch quickly sprints to the back end of the truck and looks inside. Uh, Crane, we got a problem. The truck previously filled with various equipment is now empty. The five parrots composing Avian Unit 3 are unconscious and bound together with vines. Hurry up! I think they're onto us! Avian Unit 3 is down, and I... 
I think we've been robbed. Finch unties the unconscious parrot. What? All my criminals gone. Those little fricks. Get back here. Coming. I'm sending a backup request to command. Agent Finch sprints back to Crane. What's the plan? If we don't know if one of them is the one we need, if we scare them off, we won't have a pursuit team. Why don't one of us wait here and the other go out there and try talking to them? If one of them answers, we shoot that one with a trank. Since backup is 40 minutes out, it's worth a shot. Okay, take this. Each bench and trains the tranquilizer rifle. Bench stands and walks into the clearing. Okay, guys, looks like we got off on the wrong foot. How about we just talk this out? The keys immediately face Finch and begin to honk. I know at least one of you can talk. Let's just work this out. I think this has worked out just fine for us. Finch, I can't tell which one is talking. You gotta get it to step out of the group. As far as I can tell your business, Matt Goose. So let's do business. One of the keys Steps from the group, a black rectangular object can be seen on its back. Okay then, let's make a deal. Crane fires five tranquilizer rounds into the goose after several seconds of stubborn goose falls to the ground. The remaining geese fly away in response. Got it! Crane exits the tree line and the two agents approach the fallen goose. Only thing you got was played! Various honks can be heard in the background. What the frick? French pushes the goose over revealing a foundation issued handheld radio attached to its back. Honking can be heard from above. The two agents look up in time to see a foundation issue an electric fight captured it falling on them. Oh crap! End log. Containment Team Alpha 4 arrived within a half hour. The two MTF Victor 17 agents were discovered unconscious in, within the clearing. The entirety of Cadiz Island State Park's goose population, as well as SCP-5106, could no longer be located. The tracking devices within the stone foundation equipment were found in a trash can within the park. The Foundation Parasitology Division is currently formulating possible migration patterns for SCP-5106 and its flock.